Peace be upon you all. I am back. Yay. Genshin Impact Gameplay Part. Uh. So let's continue the game. Who's from? Thank you, GIF. Ooh! This game is so generous. I got so many gifts from different places. Claim again. Catherine from the Adventurous Guild has sent you an invitation. Okay, let's go with that. Mm, the nearest teleport is this one. What? Yes, I can. Why, Paima would love to be your personal taster. Don't you let me down. Wait, what's with this shining trail? Lead to the... There's a lady over there waiting to you. Let's go and see what she wants. Welcome to the Adventurers Guild. Actually, I have had my eye on you for a long time. You've had your eye on her. Oh, that is not what I meant at all. Being on the lookout for great adventurers is part of my job. When I look at you, I see one with the potential to rival the great adventurers of legends. Paimon sees it too. Who else would it be? Paimon always feels safe adventuring with her. Nevertheless, to the adventurer, experience is far more precious than potential. You must accumulate adventurer experience to increase your adventure rank. Time is of the essence. Allow me to brief you on... Wait, are you saying we're like official adventurers now? Do not worry. The Adventurers Guild does not charge a membership fee or impose any kind of duties on its members. In short, there are lots of benefits but no drawbacks to becoming a member. Give me the benefits now! <laughs> New recruits these days certainly do not beat around the bush. Basically, the Adventurer's Guild rewards you every time your adventure rank increases. Here is a new member's gift for you. You will need to return here to claim rewards in the future. And I already have. I'm on rank 6. Without further ado, please allow me to officially welcome you, our new avid adventurer, into the guild. Thank you. Here is your adventure handbook. No, I'm not gonna be mean. A new member coming aboard is a momentous occasion. A little ceremony is only fair. It has a record of available commissions and rewards. Wow! And it is also proof of your membership. Oh, and one more thing. What? Sometimes you will find yourself stuck at a certain adventure rank. And why is that? When this happens, you need to perform some impressive feats to gain further recognition from the guild. Okay. Impressive feats? Sounds like hazing to me. They are simply specific adventures that allow you to ascend to the next adventure rank on completion. Ascension adventures, if you will, but that will come later. Opportunities to win recognition will come as you gain more adventure experience. That will do for today. 
We will add Astra Abyssosk, adventurer. With effort, you shall reach the stars and conquer the abyss. Thank you. So, what's our next mission? L1 to open shortcut will to view your adventure handbook. Oh. Oh, oh. I can claim this? Of course. He's way up there. This is bad. Such a hassle. What am I going to do? Oh, thank the thousand winds. Your arrival must be the grace of the gods. If I may ask, envoy sent by the animal god to save this mere mortal, could you spare a moment? Ew, cut it out. I know. I cannot let my peers hear about this. I cannot seek help from anyone else but you. Please, let us move to somewhere more fit for such conversations. Let's talk in the courtyard just outside headquarters. Come with me. What's with the sneakiness? Yeah. I love lighting. Glad he's my thing. This place will do. Tell us what it's about already. Yeah. How should I begin? Oh, right. Let me tell you a secret first. It's a secret of my past, and I confide in you to keep it. I'm not interested. Don't worry. Paimon's lips are sealed. As a matter of fact, my grandfather was a pirate. Oh. Wait, why do you sound so blithe? Do you think I'm making it up? Look at my eye patch. I inherited it from my grandfather, and this is solid proof that we are related by blood. Yesterday, I was glancing through the notes. I stumbled upon records that spoke of a treasure. Treasure? According to his okay, notes, now we're talking. The treasure is buried in the lost Arcadian ruins. Treasure. I know, Paimon, I know. But the location of the ruins is currently unknown. I've tried searching for clues. Treasure! Kaya, what kind of treasure is it? Gold? Or better yet, gems? <laughs> treasures that consist of nothing but gold and gems are third-rate treasures. Oh, <gasps> you don't say! My grandfather's treasure is a sword. <laughs> a magic sword that grants the wielder unrivaled power. Oh, wow! The sword was dropped from Celestia into the sea by a god. It was later salvaged by my grandfather's crew by pure coincidence. The moment he gripped the sword, thunder roared. Billows howled, and the clear skies were suddenly swallowed by raging winds. With the might of the magic sword, my grandfather went on to defeat a hydra, a silver-haired banshee, a wicked abyss dragon. But the immense power of the sword enticed many more greedy pirates. To avoid meaningless conflicts, my grandfather hid the magic sword. These incredibly thrilling adventures are romances that could only be told by pirates. Holy moly! That's just insane! A gang of treasure hoarders has been very active lately, and many ruins have had their relics stolen by them. I'm afraid that they will soon <coughs> discover the Arcadian ruins. <coughs> My neck is itching. Lost. We won't let it fall into the wrong hands! We must get the sword before them! You just rest assured that we are here to help! Wow. Great. Please keep it a secret. I'll wait for your good news. Hey, so what you think? Isn't it exciting? We're talking about a super duper powerful sword. Well, let's go to the Adventurers Guild and see if we can find out more. The adventurers should know more about the ruins, right? Right. Let's go. Oh. 
this. Okay, he, you're the guy. Go up lah, not down. What's wrong with you? Oh, you're back. Do you have news for Yeah, Paimon, why don't you tell him? Listen, we asked around the Avengers Guild and found well nothing. <laughs> that much is expected. Why is that? Oh, I only mean that what's the fun in finding it without the hard work? However, I do have some clues. I sent someone to collate black market intel. It seems that someone does know about the Arcadian ruins. Ooh. Really? Where's the guy? Now, now, as per the black market's rules, they will send someone to meet us to prevent leaks. We will be meeting the informant at the Whispering Woods. Then what are we waiting here for? You have my thanks. Of course, you'll be compensated for your troubles by the knights. Yes, we should be. Oh, no problem. I'm in the mood for another mission. I'll go back to Arcadian Ruins some other time. How about this? She's way up there. Okay. Can't give up. Hey, traveler! I've been looking for you everywhere. How's that wind glider I gave you last time? Oh, pretty good. <laughs> Seems like it's really growing on you. But then again, you don't have a gliding license, do you? We need to have a license? A gliding license? Hmm, what's that? <sighs> Isn't it obvious? You gotta have a gliding license to legally glide in Mondstadt. <sighs> and you didn't tell me that earlier? Oh, but we've been gliding for ages now. Exactly. This is the first we've heard about it. Yeah, you've been gliding all over the place. Everyone's noticed. Now, thanks to you, you didn't tell us. <laughs> So, you came looking for us because you want to give us a gliding license? No way! The Knights of Avonius have strict rules! You need to pass an exam, and only then will the Knights issue your license. Okay, give me the exam. Today, I'm here as an examiner to oversee your official gliding exam. Okay. I gave you your wind glider, so this is my responsibility. At least that's what acting Grandmaster Jean would say. An exam?! <sighs> what a pain in the butt! Then again, since Amber is the examiner... No, no need slacking. I can do this. I'm sure you'll glide through it. I mean, the whole city saw how well you flew the day that Storm Terror attacked, so I'm sure you'll have no problems. We do need to respect the rules and glide properly. Okay. Take this gliding manual. No need to memorize it. Just be familiar with everything in there. For example, only one person per wing glider. No carrying anything over the set weight limit. No taking off using an animal slime, and so on and so forth. Anyway, be sure to read it, okay? I had to read a load of big, big books too when Lisa was teaching me magic. Wow, that's a big old book! Paimon thinks we best get started. Great, come find me when you're done. 
gun. I'll be at Windrise. Okay, I need to get a license now. The Knights of Favonius Gliding Manual does not sound like a fun read. When the first wisp of wind brushed across the land, I'm glad I don't have to read it like they yearned for the sky had wings, but no way to fly. I'm okay with this with illustration and stuff. They asked the animal god. How can we reach the heavens? To which the animal god replied, You have yet to find that which is most important. As the god spoke, the wind thrust the seeds of a dandelion high into the sky. The birds thrust out their wings, but the breeze was all too mild, leaving them to stumble across the earth. So they went to the gorge, where the wind showed off its wild and incomparable strength. They threw themselves off the cliff and flapped their wings amongst the howling winds until they were able to fly freely in the sky. To the animal god they went to gleefully say, We understand now. All we needed was a stronger wind to fly. In reply, the animal god said, what you lacked was not wind, but courage. It is courage that has allowed you to become the first flying birds of this world. Hmm, that's a I cool think. story. But is the nice gliding manual really written in that style? I know, it reads like a fairy tale, but it's fun though. Huh. Anyway, let's go find Amber!